yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. Timothy Bradley has moved from one for time to reestablish himself as the number one man at one point. Don with a hard right hand. Consistent fighter. And that for the punching power. In those exchanges, Garcia's dangerous. Knocked Peterson down with a hard shot in round one. Landed some stiff shots. Well, I think at the end of the day, himself, Amir will have to beat him honestly. His eye and his face is going to start swelling up on the said Nonito Donaire a week ago in Carson. You don't get the knockout by focusing on Superior. And make it flow. And you're right, but he's not using the jab too much at all. Low blow by Garcia. I wish all fighters would make. Absolutely. Left hook by Khan. Okay. Here you see what is common in boxing on. I think the referee used good judgment in calling this low blow because it was as a result of a punch pulling Garcia's head down with your left hook. This is maybe the most athletic referee in Nevada. He's universally recognized as a top. That's a very high accuracy rate any other way than 10 9 Khan. Khan is extremely sharp. And so much. Well, that was one of Freddie Roach's big well. things coming off Khan to stop bouncing on his feet, stop off balance, stay flat. And he's doing a good job of that, too. So far, this is not focusing as much to the body as he did. It might be a good idea. But meanwhile, Garcia is landing shots. Just as I said earlier to the right hands of Amir Khan, he hasn't been getting hit with those punch speed. He just doesn't match Khan with the speed. But he's catching Khan's punches, but he can't return fast enough. One or two punches at a time, and Khan can throw speed and length. Khan can hit Garcia. On the hip, Bayless observed it, but said nothing. Stop, stop! Jab, Roach wants him to throw. And it doesn't have really a straight right hand. There's a cut over the right eye of Danny Garcia. Garcia's landing some shots, guys. That cut over the right eye. Looks like it may be a significant but Let's see. Well, what's your thought about the location and the severity of the cut? Khan is attacking him and matching in terms of speed, but also the pace seems to be slowing him down a little bit. Pace, and uh, Khan is not letting him do that. Garcia gave a little sign after the second round. He want his father's I'll color anybody's perception of him. As he said, I'm a good guy. Straight right hand. But see that all that often. You've seen him, man. He's developing more variety. Saying that Garcia's not still fighting hard, but when you see do that already in the second round. Uh, Garcia's punches, about, if he shoots 10 right hands, a good straight right hand. But he does have solid punching power. And now and again, we just saw a couple shots where they didn't land flush. <laughs> And con a number of fighters who have careers, and then when they develop confidence, better as time goes on. And don't kill themselves yeah. to make weight. As so that is a good point. A lot of times these guys, they're weakening themselves and make them natural, makes them not be able to handle the punches. The pressure that Amir Khan is putting him under. Down goes Khan! There it is. Off a sensational counter left hook by Garcia. Counter left hook, and, and Amir Khan may not get his Stay in the fight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Amir P. Amir Khan throwing a right hand punch, getting caught with a left hook, followed the, and he didn't do anything wrong. This is just what happens in boxing when you have flashy changes. That's what where Garcia is dangerous. Oh. That punch didn't catch Khan on the chin. It caught him on the neck under his ear, Emmanuel. He recovered him. Talon in the pass. Garcia with a big opportunity. Khan's knee touch. That's another knockdown. Four, five, six. Oh, he's been down twice. Once in the third and once in the fourth. This fight is over. This fight is That doesn't seem to have the legs. Heart. It's not the heart. Khan landed a huge right hand there. Garcia lands another big right to return. Khan just took... Unbelievable oh. heart. Told his legs as a seal hurt. Him up, bring him up. What an uppercut by Khan. Good left hook. Another left hook by Garcia. I think Khan needs to stay away from that uppercut, Garcia.
of that hook when he throws it. I declared the fight over, and Khan has taken over. And now here comes Garcia again. And Garcia, no, he's very smart. Garcia is fighting a measured fight, trying to take Khan out. Khan is still punched, and with power when he punches. Now there's blood to try to time the left hook. You can see the punches coming. He seems confident he can take them. It's in those exchanges when Khan throws the right uppercut and Garcia. Third knockdown. You okay, man? I think, but he just couldn't get his, his balance so much after that. And it becomes a knockdown because his glove touches the canvas there. And now the second, the second knockdown. knockdown was really a punch that it seemed like it wasn't that much of a power, but Jesse was just weakened at that time. Jesse didn't even just. Referee Kenny Bayless calls a halt to the bout. Your winner by TKO victory. Thank you.